10 wardrobe pieces every woman in her 40s should own. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. I don't know if you guys know, but if you have a TikTok, it has been blowing up with the 40 and over side of TikTok. I had a video completely go viral. I have no idea how, <laughs> um, but the over 40 side of TikTok is blowing up. The ladies are coming out from young 40s to mid 40s to older 40s, and I absolutely love it. So with that being said, let's get into the video. So my first item, I'm always going to talk about jackets, especially for tall women. So if you're in your 40s and you're tall, or even if you're petite or average height, a wool coat is going to be your best friend. If you live in a hotter climate state or country, um, of course not, you're not going to need that, but you can still get something in that family, maybe like a trench coat because it does rain everywhere, right? So you can go for a nice trench coat, but for the girls in the colder areas, a wool coat is going to be your best friend. It's versatile. You can dress it up. You can dress it down. They have tailored ones. They have oversized ones. They have ones with belts. They have ones with a very small lining, like pretty much at the top of it, like the Frankie Shop one I showed you guys. It's not a full-on coat because the lining does not go all the way down in the coat, but it's more of like a long maxi wool jacket if that makes sense so a wool coat you should own this if you do not own one i'm going to link a couple below for you it is going to save your life in the fall and the winter those are the jackets that you throw on if you just want to run out going shopping and you still want to look like elevated a long coat is going to pretty much cover your entire outfit <laughs> and you could have on even like a cute pair of like sneakers um you could also wear a nice little hat with it a fitted hat but that coat is going to keep you looking elevated and put together so if you don't own one put it on your list to get one if you don't know i do have a style and service and if you go to the website you can sign up for a a digital download that has a list of essentials that you should have in your wardrobe every single thing you do not need but some of the things that you do need i would say check it off and just start shopping from that list and then it'll help you kind of build what you need to have a really really great foundation in your wardrobe second thing you should own in your 40s be a blazer now a lot of us go into the office a lot of us are now home so having a blazer may not be the first thing on your mind but if you really think about it, blazers are worn so many different ways these days, not just to the office or to a meeting. They're being dressed up, they're being dressed down, which is why a lot of brands are creases waist, <laughs> really cinched in waist so you can have an hourglass shape. So get a nice blazer for your wardrobe. If you are a woman who does not like anything oversized, I would wholeheartedly recommend getting a hourglass one zara just had a really nice one um the frankie shop has one as well but if you have longer arms keep that in mind and most importantly if you're gonna get something that is more on the tailored side make sure your shoulders are positioned properly the worst thing you want to do is get a blazer and the shoulders are completely off it's going to throw off everything so if you have to go into like a suit supply store or whatever to get measured do that or I always say closet essentials <laughs> make sure you have a measuring tape measure your shoulders shoulder to shoulder just so you know what to look for when you're shopping and reading those details and with that you do have cropped blazers those are nice um you do have long line blazers and then you have standard length blazers so choose what works for you and your wardrobe always pay attention to what you currently have in your wardrobe what do you gravitate to more gravitate towards more and even when you are looking at photos on like pinterest and stuff what are you like looking at what really catches your eye those are the type of jackets and blazers you should be looking for see if you like them on your body and see if it fits well and then kind of go from there so a blazer tan or black or whatever color works for you will be the second thing i like leather so you're always going to see me with a leather blazer somewhere in my wardrobe even if I have others, I'm always going to have a black leather blazer. So that is the second. The third thing is going to be a moto jacket. Okay. Everyone does not like moto jackets. I do. Okay. 
Now, when it comes to a moto jacket, there's a ton as well. You have fitted ones. I have one by Alexander Wang that is very much so fitted. Um, and it has a really small waist, so it's kind of like a poplin style um, moto jacket. Then I have an oversized one from the Frankie shop. I have a cropped one from the Frankie shop. I have one, I believe, from like Kenneth Cole that is like super buttery soft. Um, so a moto jacket is your best friend because also, again, I've seen a lot of girls wear them with skirts, wear them with sweatpants on a chill day. Um, wear them over dresses. Like, it really just depends on your style, but get a good moto jacket. I am gonna say this, girls. I have a ton, and some are faux leather. However, I do have the one from Kenneth Cole that is 100% leather, and the one from Alexander Wang that is 100% leather. So those are like my ride or die coats that are great quality and probably never going to mess up. The other ones are faux leather, but you can still really get a really good faux leather if you start to really pay attention to what the designers are using to make the item. You can easily go to ASOS and get one, but it may not be as great quality as something from somewhere else. But just read those details and it'll definitely help you. The fourth thing is going to be shoes. And I'm going to say statement shoes. If you do not have a plethora of shoes in your closet and you're in your 40s I would say get a color that can go with the majority of your wardrobe now if you already have a ton of shoes get a nice pair of statement shoes when I say statement it's probably gonna be I don't even want to say just designer because that's really not the case there's a lot of brands that come out with like statement shoes and they don't even cost a lot of money. So get you a nice pair of statement shoes that can go with the majority of your wardrobe. The goal is to always be able to really get your cost per wear out of whatever it is that you are wearing and whatever you spent your money on. I don't care if it was $10, okay? You want to be able to get your cost per wear out of every single thing that you own. Those daggone Sambas, I wear those a ton. And I try not to because they're so flat, but I, they're so easy. They go with so many different things. And I just throw them on if I want to just go do some round and round really quick. So definitely get you a really great pair of statement shoes. This item, every woman in her 40s should own a great pair of wide leg trousers. Okay, if you're a tall girl, I already know the struggle with that. Check out Favorite Daughter. Um, check out Banana Republic. I don't know if you guys know this, but Banana Republic does have 35, sometimes 36 inch inseam. So do not sleep on your local stores. They're starting to carry these longer inseams for us, which is a plus. So get into it, girls. Do some research. I always say do some research before you actually go shopping. It is like the best thing because it's going to help you shop. It's going to help you not get frustrated when you're shopping and you can't find anything go directly to the stores that carry your sizes trousers so a great pair of trousers is going to be the fifth thing that any woman in her 40s should own today okay girls <laughs> the sixth thing is going to be a pair of casual sneakers now we do have um trainers we do have boxing sneakers we have soccer sneakers we have all those things but get you a pair of casual sneakers i'm saying samba because samba is technically a soccer sneaker because they're so flat however they do go with a lot of outfits such as trousers samas can go with dresses samas can go with trench coats samas can go with wool coats they can go with literally anything a lot of girls are like oh they're so over sambas but they're a classic sneaker um, a casual sneaker you can also get a white pair of sneakers that i have that i have ran into the ground are my coyo sneakers i still absolutely love them but i ran them into the ground i got my cost per wear out of them because they're not the cheapest but you want to have a casual pair of sneakers um even if you did wear a skirt and like a t-shirt you could throw in a pair of sneakers i've done it a ton of times it's really cute it's really simple you can go get coffee in it you can go sit in the coffee shop. It's still a very much so comfortable outfit, but very much so cute and comfortable, girls. Okay? <laughs> so having a casual pair of sneakers is going to be the other thing that women in her 40s should 
Um, all right, so the other item is going to be a pair of knee boots. For me, as a six foot tall woman, it is, I'm going to say it's, I'm looking here because I'm looking at my boots. It is hard sometimes because the boots don't really, they're like under the knee. <laughs> you know what I mean? But it doesn't mean that we can't wear them. We just have to kind of finagle the outfit so that the boots don't look odd on us. It's just what it is. Like maybe a longer skirt. So the, the skirt and the boot is kind of meeting. But a knee pair of boots are going to be something that you should own. Now, you don't have to get the same type of boots. You could also get something that is like a Western style boot that is kind of knee length. You can get something that is more of a classic style boot with like a wide calf something that is slouchy so many types of knee boots that you can get that you should own especially if you are a girl who loves to dress up having different heights of boots boots is going to help with getting dressed and creating these fabulous outfits that you want to wear each day so for me which is going to lead me into my next point having a thigh high pair of boots from knee highs to thigh highs and then i think i have from knee highs to thigh highs, even booties, but thigh high boots are going to be your lifesaver. It is very hard to find a really good quality pair of thigh high boots, especially if you're tall. Um, women in their 40s, we tend to like, I'm not going to say, because I don't really care about what how I dress and what people think about how I, but there are women who feel like thigh high boots are not for women of a certain age. I totally disagree. Like, there's so many women that dress so stylish. And, I mean, I don't want to say it's age appropriate, but I feel like it's just their style. It looks really good on them. So, for me, thigh high boots on a woman 40 plus, it shouldn't matter. But if you're looking for a pair, y'all, okay, can y'all see my boots back there? Those right there. <laughs> Those are my Jimmy Choo boots, girls. I was able to find them again in black because I didn't get them the first time. And when I tell you, I am so happy. <sighs> what well, happy? Because they're such a great quality boot. They are super, super nice. The heel is chunky. It's kind of like Western. So for me, they're very comfortable. I had to size up because Jimmy Choo clearly runs small as all heck. Um, I got a size 43, which they feel like a size 12 on, if that makes sense. Um, but nice boot. A thigh high boot is going to help with you wanting to like dive into like maybe a mini skirt or a mini dress and you don't feel comfortable showing your legs. Try the boot gonna cover your whole leg. So you'll be fine. But having a thigh high pair of boots for women in their 40s, those are something that you should own in your closet today. And the ninth thing is going to be your statement bags. Now, when it comes to statement bags, I would say that we all should have one great, great handbag. That is our go-to. It could be a designer. It could be something that is just 100% leather for from a smaller business. But a great handbag, mm, if you don't own a really great handbag, I don't know what you're doing. Because even if you didn't go out and party like that or do any events like brunch, you still got to go to work. Like, you want a nice leather bag. It doesn't have to be designer at all. You just want something great leather. Um, if you're into leather, if you're into suede, just have a really nice bag. Something that is versatile that can be worn with multiple outfits. So if you get something like a clutch, it's going to limit you from wearing that to like the mall or something like that. So get something that can be worn multiple ways. That way you can get your cost per wear. Then on top of that, you're using something and you're interchanging it with other pieces in your closet. And that's always a win for me. If you're not able to do that, you're gonna be stuck with an item and probably only wear it once or twice, which is not the best cost per wear. So get you a really nice bag. If you wanna go for something designer, I would say get something that is 100% leather, no real logos, that way you can wear it multiple ways. So just a regular Gucci bag, nothing with logos, that's actually going to kind of limit you from wearing an actual bag. So go for something that is just straight leather. 
Louis Vuitton, the same thing. They Epi bags are amazing to me. They're very sleek. Everybody knows what it is, but they really don't know what it is because the logo is not all over it. But something sleek, but in your 40s, you should own a really, really great handbag. And the last thing is going to be a great watch. I have this watch by Michelle, and it's so old. I had it over 13 years, okay? And beautiful watch. At first, when the person got it for me, <laughs> I wasn't like into like the three colors because it's like silver, well, white gold, um, yellow gold, and uh, rose gold. But now that I have it, it goes with so much because I'm able to buy like a David Yerman bracelet with like the gold tips. So it just kind of like flows together. Invest in a really good watch. I would say get something that has a multicolor, multicolor metals. That way you're able to interchange it with different bracelets and it, you won't really skip a beat with it. But those are 10 items that every woman in her 40s should own today, girls. If you don't own them, comment below. Why is it not your thing? You don't need them, blah, blah, blah. Thank you guys for tuning into this video. Make sure you are hitting the like button below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco, we see you. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, Coco Styles NYC. And my style services, Coco Styles NY. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk. Coco Styles NYC and girls again make sure you are following me on TikTok too the 40 and over trend is like taken off <laughs> um but thank you guys for tuning in again and I will catch you guys in the next one bye guys